Hello and welcome back to All Things Marine, and today we will be continuing our ocean classification theme, and we will be talking about an antho anthozoan today in the class Anthozoa, which contains corals and sea anemones and other organisms like the one that we're going to be talking about today. The one that we're going to be talking about today is the orange sea pin, also known as the Patellosarcus gurnei. gurnei. It is a colony of small organisms um, known as polyps, and that's what makes an anthozoan an anthozoan. They are made up of several organisms, usually, and those organisms are each individually a polyp. Each polyp has a different duty than the other from the other polyps. For example, with the orange sea pin, there are a kind of polyps on it called autozooids, feeding polyps that catch plankton and other food sources, although they also serve as a means of sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. Siphon so siphonozoids are also present on this organism and they allow the colony to inflate or deflate, um, which is actually an escape tactic that the sea uses to run away from predators such as the sea stars and the brakes, which are also sea slugs. They like to prey on these and they like to what the sea pit does. they can use how much they can inflate or deflate depending on what predator is after them they mainly feed on plankton as i said so they are really not a predator they just kind of sit and wait they're very benthic um, and what benthic means is benthic means something that is on the ground or crawling and what's kind of interesting about these sea pen is one, they look like a pen with the, with feathers, so that's it's pretty cool. Um, but they bioluminesce, which I found to be very interesting. Uh, they emit a bluish greenish light, which is there for a defense against predators. But if that does not stop predators from attacking them, they actually have a very like mild toxin, also known as a patillosarcone, which Interestingly enough, not much is known about this, which is very interesting. So if anybody, if any of you future scientists are out there and looking for something you want to know more about, well, well you could research the toxin of an orange sea pen. Uh, they're very slow growing organisms and they reach a maximum size of about only 18 inches long, uh, in height. Um, and they grow at only about one inch per year, which is really slow when you think about it. And they produce several, several eggs. Therefore, they're not at risk of like going extinct. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, like, comment and subscribe. And the next video, we are going to be talking about a cubozoan, also known as the sea wasp or a kind of box jellyfish. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching.